Okay, so for question one. Okay, we go for question one because this is a graph fitted method. We say sketch the graph, exponential graph, and quadratic graph at the same axis. Show that that is a one root of these equations. Okay, lie in between zero point five five and zero zero point six five. So so we are going to solve this part. This is our three point one by using graph fitted method. Hence, only we can use our newton Russell method to find out what is our x actually so how they build this equation because you have two graph right okay you have two graph when you want to solve these two graph actually we are doing simultaneous equation so 2ex equals to 4 minus x squared so that is our simultaneous equation when we substitute it together so when you want to solve it uh, so we have to move it uh, this is this is how we get now uh, we move it. This is how we find out this equation. So this equation actually is come from solving our simultaneous two equations. So for this part, uh, they say we want to show show that roots. So I have to draw out when they are intersect. Okay, we are, when they are intersect, I have to draw out exponential and quadratic graph. So look at our exponential graph. Okay, we revise our exponential graph. Power is positive means it is shooting to the right okay asymptote asymptote when we close this exponential uh, out here is zero uh, range range is zero to infinity positive so go up uh, going up then power is positive go up then shoot to the right so that will be our exponential graph so we draw first okay so this x axis which is our um, y equals to 0, this is our asymptote, and this is our exponential graph, shooting up. Okay, so label. When you're drawing your graph, remember to label. So that will be our first graph. Then second graph, this is quadratic. Okay, so quadratic negative means it will be like this. So look at our quadratic, it will be negative x squared plus 4. Okay, it, it, our quadratic generally is ax square bx plus c. When you don't have this term, okay, when you don't have bx plus, you can see our quadratic here. Uh, this is our ax square. This is our c. When you don't have this bx, means our quadratic will be in the center here. Uh, y will be our symmetrical axis. Uh, it will be at the center here. Whether you are masam, okay, or senyum, uh, at the center here, it will not move here. It will not move to the left, move to the right, or something. It will be in the middle of the quadratic. Why? Why as a why as a symmetric axis here? So we calculate is, uh, y intersection when x equals to zero. Y is equals to four. Okay, so, okay, so this one I we have to calculate is intersection when y equals to two e x right. So when x equals to zero y is equal to 2e0 which is 2 so this is value of 2 when it come to quadratic when y is 4 minus x square so we calculate the intersection at y axis so y is equal to 4 so this is a bit higher here so our quadratic okay our quadratic will be going like this okay so quadratic so symmetrically Okay, so a bit symmetrically. So this one is y equals to 4 minus x squared. So finish drawing the graph. Just need to show out uh, the intersection point. Is it occur at this interval? Uh, so we show out our intersection point. Because this is graphical method, right? Uh, so we have to show out. So we have an intersection point here. So it will be located in the interval of 5, 5 and 6, 5. Okay. So graph method method just draw out and show up, show out the intersection point. So this intersection point is the x coordinate that, that we found in your Newton Resson method later. So you can conclusion, do a conclusion, there has a intersection point.
between the positive area okay so you are not talking this this is at negative part negative x value here is positive a positive x value so you can say it is in the between uh, 0 0.55 and 0 0.65 so why we so confident on this because uh, one more thing we haven't finished we can show up our roots here now uh, what is our roots here when y equals to 0 okay when y equals to 0 in our quadratic x square equals to 4 so x will become square root 4 so x will become positive negative 2 so this is value of 2 this is value of negative 2 so you can see obviously our intersection point confirm in the between of 0 in the between of 0 and 2 so this interval 0 5 5 and 6 is at the inside inside within this range of 0 2 so we can say that is a there has a intersection point between 0 5 5 follow the question so when there in have an intersection point then our sentence will go back to the sentence from the question therefore there has a root between 0 0.55 0 0.65 Okay, so that will be our graphical method. So this all intersection, this value, yeah, this value I haven't. Intersection, this is 4. Mm, so this is 4, this is 2, roots here, negative 2, 2. Okay, so here, this is our graphical method. Then we start using our newton lesson method so when you want to start to use our newton 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 Raphson method we need our function okay we need these two simultaneous together so we give you equation here but this equation here cannot cannot use as function it must equals to zero so therefore we build up our functions here Okay, so for this part, I will wrap off because this, this step no need to show. Okay, so for our function, 2ex plus x minus 4 equals to 0. So this is our function. Then we find our differential function. Differentiate it. So for exponential, sorry, so I learned differentiate power is 1, okay. Differentiate x is 1. So initial value, do I have initial value? We don't tell us any initial value, but we can guess from the interval that give us. They say it has a roots, right? Uh, you already use your graphical method to show that has a root between 0 and 5, 5. So our initial value, we can take in the middle. So I will take start from 0 0.6, okay. 0.6 yes oh yes thank you oh yeah missing x square so x square x square so here will be difference differentiate x square 2x yeah thank you for telling or not everything will be getting wrong already okay so we continue yeah to substitute value 0 0.6 minus function so back in my step this step must be right in full 0 0.6 okay press calculator alpha x b 
Okay, is it correct? Yes. Okay, then calculate for the first value 0 0.6. 0 0.59, how many decimal? 3. 3 plus 2, 9, 9, 1, 2, 5. So it becomes 1, 3. Repeat. So this time I can write in short working. Calculate. Zero point five nine nine one two like very close already five nine nine one five nine nine one so repeat uh, we consider it repeat already all right because five nine nine five nine nine two times already uh, three decimal right you can see five nine nine one five nine nine one ah uh, okay one also not round this one not rounding uh, 5991, 5991, so uh, consider repeat, yeah, uh, we done. So we, we get our x equals to 0 0.599, so 1, no need to be, no need to round off, they repeat the, uh, they save already, 5991. So this is a 3 decimal place that we need.